On this episode of NSFW Show, we're gonna go ahead and drink some beer. What? That's unprofessional. No, it is professional, because we're gonna name the beers afterward. Tall beer dude Michael Lipton, small beer gal Katie Lipton are here. Also, the definitive interview with Tay Allen. Why didn't I get your mass text? You're gonna find out in this big tour de force. It's all coming up on NSFW Show, starting right now. <laughs> netcasts you love from people you trust this This is twit Twit. bandwidth for nsfw is brought to you by cashfly at c-a-c-h-e-f-l-y dot com this is nsfw episode 197 recorded on september 24th 2013 taters gonna tate This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free trial and 20% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW9 and ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. 20% 20% off your new account. Go to proxpn.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. And Ting! Ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay for what you use, doesn't require a contract, and offers unlimited devices on one pooled plan. To save $25 on your first Ting device, visit nsfw.ting.com. That's nsfw.ting.com. One, two, three, four. Ba ba banana. 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 All right, that's good enough. That's close enough. That means that's good enough for us. It's got to be go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the webinars, the show that is nominally safe for work. Oh, my goodness, beautiful party people. It is me, Brian Brushwood, joined as always live in Petaluma. Right there in the most beautiful studio in all of America, it's Justin Robert Young hey, where live. The white what is going at? on? Woo, Justin Robert Young, how you doing, buddy? Oh, holy smokes, Brian! We got ourselves a humdinger of a show. I'm yelling. <laughs> that's how much show we have. We that's can't that's fit what I got to do. We got too small of a U-Haul to fit all this show in. All right, but I do feel I feel in debt because when we got that Bub Bub Banana video, first of all, tell me that is not exactly my daughter in about 20 minutes. Like then that girl exactly. This video had like 170 views. I I'm praying that it's not like a repost and that we were the first ones to get it because this this is amazing. We started playing like uh like like beats behind it. Hold on, One, let's just throw. Two, here we three, go. Four. Wait. Bub Bub Banana. Wait. Bub Bub Banana. Okay, some of them lined up better than others. But the point is, is uh, I I want to see some kind of mix. I don't care if it's if it's DJ Z, if it's Nes- Neshcom, any of our musically talented fans yeah. out there. Soundwave, I want somebody to make this into an epic mix. That would be amazing. I feel like that's it's, that it's, is is eminently doable. We are gonna get but but bananaed in our but but butts with all these butt butt beats <laughs> by the end of the show. This is going down. We want banana fever. Banana ramas going down here uh, on the NSFW show. Go ahead and take care of that. But you want to know what, Brian? Yes. This show, uh, we have some of our favorite guests and a gigantic, uh, a get. What they would say in the industry is uh, as a get. Let, let's, let's tease right now. The definitive Tay Allen interview 
right here on NSFW show later in the show. Why didn't she get your mass text? We're going to find out. Answers will be driven toward and received, whether anybody's happy about it or not. It's going down tonight. We talked to Tay Allen. But meanwhile, uh, I feel like, are you thirsty, Bri? Oh, my God. Uh, can I confess? All right, first of all, we should go ahead and, and tip the fact that we're about to be visited by the Jack Hanna of beer. Tall beer dude, Michael Lipton himself. Lipton is joined, uh, joining us here along with his lovely wife, Katie, who you just christened Small Beer. Yeah, we have, well, well, of course, because uh, Michael here is Tall Beer. But I think I am. As, yep. Yep. as he was in the uh, Sierra Nevada beer camp video. Uh, and now, Katie... You are going for the same opportunity, mm -hmm. so it only felt right that they are tall beer and small beer, right? It just Wait, seems, now, now just hold seems on. Speaking out. of which, like, like now, now, tall beer dude, we made sure to give him a plug, and I'd like to think that the NSFW audience was a big part of getting him into beer camp. Uh, like, sh should we plug uh, small beers, uh, like, video? I, I guess, do you vote for a video on that or what? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Just kidding. Oh, wait. You're oh sorry. Wrong. Wait, I, I got it mixed up. The I got answer the signals is yes. wrong. No, the answer is yes. Tinyurl.com slash Katie Beer. C or sorry, K-A-T-I-E-B-E-E-R. All lowercase will get you to her video. You voted up just like we did last year yes, sir. with Tall Beer. Uh, you the more votes that she gets on her video, the more likely she is to get in. And by the way, this is ain't no no uh hog swiggling beeswax when it comes to uh, this beer camp. I'm sorry, because, just re real quick. Can, can we yeah. make hog swiggling beeswax a thing? Can I get that like on a t-shirt or, or a neck tattoo? All right, so here's the thing. <laughs> That's going to be the next beer I make. You know, <laughs> you don't want hog your beeswax beer. This hog be swiggled. Because, you know, uh, when you get it hog swiggled, you can't give it to your Jewish friends. Smoked meat. <laughs> uh, here's the oh. deal. What? What? Hog oh. swiggled beeswax? No, the other part. Can't give it to us Jews. Well, because, yeah, because it's got pork products in it. Yeah. It's got hot. Well, no, but that's just it. Is that, That's why it's 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 that the beeswax yeah, is there the because it's like a, a hog swiggle taste without being actual hog swiggle. Oh, that's okay. why, well, that way go. it's exactly. kosher. So it is, Thank in fact, dog. kosher. Woo! Here's the deal. Tall Beer went to beer camp last year, and right now, if you go to BevMo or many Costco's, you will find... Do we have the bottle? <laughs> we have the bottle. Let me take this right here. Oh. You will find this... Beer. It is Beer Camp. Number uh, four. Yeah, number four. It is a Belgian style black IPA. We tried this here on the show last year, and now it is available for you to buy. So go ahead out and get it. Uh, it was delicious when we <laughs> tried it, and we will be trying way more. Hopefully, some that Katie has <laughs> brewed and will go to Sierra Nevada Beer Camp. And next year, they can come back. And, and both have had the experience of, of selling beer all over the country. Let's make a tradition. Let's, let's, let's it. make it a tradition. We are the kingmakers here <laughs> on NSFW Show. All right, so first of all, I do want to give a special thanks to Michael for sending me over a, a sampler pack, uh, which I immediately <laughs> defiled. He was kind enough to send over... <clears throat> Uh, four different beers that we're going to sample here on the show, and he wanted me to participate. Me opening it up, I got as far as seeing the No Hobo logo on <laughs> one of them, and of course, No Hobo was the beer that he brewed especially for us at uh, uh, Dragon Con, Con of a Dragon Just Four. <laughs> By the way, No Hobo t-shirts still available right now at nsfw.scamstuff.com. Yeah. But uh, I, I couldn't oh, help I it. I wanted Bonnie to experience, so I busted it open, and uh, and I yeah, that's the whole label is just the word Hobo. With a slash through it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go ahead and pop that open, Justin. Let's uh, let's take people on a little journey through the different so flavors that he brought us. So what we did last year is we went through some of these and uh, and we gave them all names. Uh, this one obviously already has a name. It was brewed uh, from the name, really. We we just told him this is a your name, fault. and this was what <laughs> came out. Uh, now, to... now, first of all, the first thing I noticed about this one, the first thing that hits you is how, like, syrupy it is. Is, is it, like, a billion calories, or what gives it that <laughs> syrupy ness to it? Oh, that's the uh, magical tall beer dude touch. Everything I make has that nice, thick okay, syrupy Okay, that's, there. please, that's, you know what, I'm going to give you a mulligan <laughs> on that. We're going to pretend you never said those words, and then I'm I never put that in my mouth. I'm actually pretend he said it twice, and the so... second time licking his lips. Yeah. Because I don't care. I don't care how it got the there. Secret, I care that it's there. The it secret is there when the uh, you know full moon, no one can see you. You know, kind of out in the back there. 
Make use some special water for it. It's a different version of the silver rails. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, so no the, homo, the so don't ask. <laughs> so okay, yeah, that's right. You know, I put I put your your special magic in my mouth. No hobo. And I was <laughs> I was really touched by how syrupy it was. <laughs> Uh, so here, I mean, to, to describe this, this definitely has a, a thick taste. It has uh, almost a smoky kind of feel to it. Um, there's a lot of regret in here. Um, there's the taste of the grinding gears of America's locomotive beasts that crisscross this great land. Uh, and also, if, I if think I'm not I mistaken, taste... you can almost taste the like the failure of unions in America. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, it has a bit of a chalky taste, as if you're about to mark a secret code on a miser's fence. <laughs> uh, now, I, I, how many of your secrets do you want to give up to us on this, Michael? Like, like, how much of it is a pride in your techniques, and how much of it is like, screw you, this is my magic? Um, no, I'm fine with having the pride in technique. It's uh. You know what? I could tell you exactly how to make this and how someone could make it and it would never be the exact same. So, yeah. whatever the heck you want to know, I mean... Well, what, what goes this? into well, this? Like, how would you use it? Yeah. <laughs> so what this is, is, well, it's entirely barley. Lots of uh, dark roasted, so things that have been killed for a long time. And the secret on here is actually using a smoked malt. Uh, so it's grain that was actually put over alder that was being smoked. So that's why you get that bit of that charcoaly, smoky... Sure. Aroma dark flavor. on there. Yeah. Um, also, one of the other secret ingredients was while we were brewing it, when there was a downtime, we made sure to uh, take a nap underneath some newspapers out in <laughs> the uh, backyard. Uh, we huddled around the burner to keep ourselves nice and warm. I have, uh, actually have a picture of myself laying in the backyard, all wrapped up oh, in all sorts of random crap no. while we were doing it. I'll tell you what. See, I think that's, doing doing a, I think that's part of the reason might that... have taste the Rockies. We have. Take yourself to the Big Rock Candy Mountain <laughs> when you're drinking no hobo stout. Mm, mm, I, th mm. I think that's why Michael's such a such a friend of the show is that he's committed to the bit. Uh, <laughs> all right, so which of these next ones are we gonna do? All right, so the next. Yeah, one we're you want to do, do this black IPA that you were advertising? Well, we can do that, but actually, one first I'd like to go into. You'll find one that you have there that has a O with a line through it. There, just uh, not Justin. Yeah, yeah Justin. Um, that Justin, one's Justin. That's Brian. I also I, like how far away. Boom. I also right like how right this there. is like uh, we're we're playing like this bizarre game of battleship, as it's like uh, we need you to go to O slash. Please go to O slash. So there we go. All right. All right. Oh look, see, he actually there has it, it for us. Boom. Excellent. So, yeah. Katie. Boom. Small beer. This is your creation. So we're moving on <laughs> to her realm here. Tell us all about this mighty thing. All right, so Brian, how do you want to do this? You want to go? We'll both taste it at the same talk. time, and then <laughs> sure. And then I went we'll, ahead and uh, I, I actually brought a, a a popper top up here just for this part. Brian, I'll go first here. Here, right, no, Brian. How about this? We both drink a little bit, right? And then yep. uh, we each just go back and forth with one word. Now, now, is this intentionally like a mysterious hobo code, just a zero with a slash through it, or is there <laughs> something like? Do you have a direction that you want to go with this? Uh, this is, well, it's my own type of coding, things that we kind of work on, how it's, where it comes from and whatnot. So, uh, th there'll be a reason for it when we actually get into yeah, it. Yeah, here, there Brian, is a story. There's right, totally right. a story. They're here so that's we fine, that's can, fine. They, they've brought their wares up to us, just the mountain the elders, <laughs> so we might, we might, uh, give them direction on it. So, so you, we both drink, and then you say a word, I'll say a word, and we'll just go from there. Oh, just one word each. One okay, word each. Mm hmm. Twisty. Toffee. Do you really? Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> What's the percentage? Man, it's Baxies? <laughs> it's a. a <laughs> uh, Twisty toffee Baxies? Um, fun? <laughs> I, 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 I want to throw silly in there. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take silly. I'm um, silly. Good reason for it. Yeah, there really is. Noodly. <laughs> like ramen noodles? <laughs> no, just like it makes you want to go. You drink, you noodle, 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 noodle. Noodle. I'll, I'll tell you what I noticed. If I can use a few more words here, it's weird because it hits you up front, but I actually feel like I'm detecting a different taste as it hits the back of my throat. Um, it's sweeter in the back than it is up front. It's got that same beer taste, but it's got that sweet... That, I mean, you're laughing at me. No, I'm... No. I'm actually uh, laughing at what was surely in a first draft of your Austin Craigslist M4M ad. <laughs> Sweeter in the back than I am in the, the front. front. 
That's fine with me. I'll take it. Uh, all right. No, this is actually delicious. It has a bit of a sweeter taste mm -hmm. to it. Uh, but it is like remarkably easy going down, which is part of my Davy Florida the um, on this M4M one? Craigslist ad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is it is great. This Thank is you. very easy drinking. Yeah, it's a very easy drinking ten percent. Holy crap! <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, way. This tastes this tastes like a like a like like a like a goddamn natty light in Utah. Well, and you're you telling go. me it's ten percent? That's what we try to do. I balance it nicely. Can, can you call it Natty Light in Utah? Is that is that trademarked? No. <laughs> Are you allowed to call it that? Well, Brian, listen, this is part of why they brought it here, so we can name it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, what were the three words we came up like? Twisty, Silly, twisty, coffee, taffy? Baxies. Although I really like Baxies. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I feel like yeah. once you drink it, uh, you're gonna be doing a lot of things. You're gonna. Why want don't we just call it? For. What about what about just no backsies? I mean, I know you you know you got no hobo, but but like no backsies is a common phrase. How about front cut? <laughs> <laughs> what about butt cut? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> butt, not... <laughs> butt cut is not. That's not appropriate. That's not gonna that's be not in there in, in 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 Walmart. <laughs> it's like you know you're gonna be like uh, Joe. We need to refill the stock on butt cut. A pretty good one. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's. Uh, I, 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 all right, we got backsies and front cuts. <laughs> front cut is like that was like the like the way that you could be friends with somebody in school is let them front cut or back cut. Uh, yeah. What about uh, back cut? <laughs> Somebody cut, just uh, <laughs> theorized that uh, at some point, Gatorwag, of course, Butcher Brand Hughes, theorizes somebody at a bar a bottle of your finest butt cut. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my men are celebrating a great victory. Butt cuts what about, for the room. <laughs> People are saying butt Cuba or cat crack. I kind of like cat crack. Uh, no, I, I don't think we got to be listen. We got to go outside just the, the NSFW ephemera. All right, all right. Well, we got twisties. We, uh, we, we got twisty. We got um, uh, backsies. We got... Um, I kind of like backsies. Trunk. Something tells me that backsies is... It's just the way to go. It, it, it rolls off the tongue. Belgian. Yeah. You don't want to call Belgian? it Baxi's? Do, do you guys, are ba you guys? Baxi's Belgian does really work. Baxi's oh, Belgian. Wow. It's a Belgian. It's a Belgian. Is this yeah. a Belgian ale? Yeah. Baxi's Belgian. So, actually, oh my God. Guy? No, that's great. This guy's got um, orange, orange peel, coriander, cinnamon, and thyme in it. All right. So oh here God. we go. Baxi's Belgian. <laughs> it's a yes from me. Moving on. <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's sweet and uh, definitely ten percent. That's like, <laughs> that's like uh, like a, like a quarter of a ruinum that I'm drinking, or half of ruinum. No, half a that's half yeah. ruinum. Ugh, wow. So if you're if you're doing a night of Belgian backsies, which by the way, that's one hell of a European vacation. <laughs> and you come back. And well, you Belgian backsies is the full move, dance but, card but that's why Belgian backsies. That's why we've got to call it backsies Belgian. Oh, okay. Good point. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which one are we doing? Oh my God, man, that is intense. Well, you only have... things are gonna get a little. I'm feeling a little, uh, a little Latin, silly. Loopy -loop. A little. I'm, I'm feeling a little front cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you have another one that has a uh, sh on it, I believe. Uh, yeah, S O H. S O H. Oh, says. good. I got the put, O in there. I put an O on it. Oh, good. So that's S O H. And I could tell you all about this one. And you there, Brian, would absolutely love the actual name I have for this one, but I will save that for later. Man, so we are rolling like all dark here yeah. tonight, right? Oh, my God. This is what Katie Today loves is to make. Dark and chewy tonight. Sure. Holy smoke. Chewy. Wow. <laughs> Can you just name it that? <laughs> yeah. Chewy. Chewy. How cool. do you spell it? Uh, no, you're still gonna. If you even just did the onomatopoeia of what Chewy said, you probably okay. still get sued by probably. Disney. Probably. Oh my god. Uh, In fact, you'll get sued. Oh my for god. I'm Chris guy scared. says Baxi's bombs. Ooh. Oh no. Baxi's bombs? <laughs> no, that would be like bad, so. Bad. You take like a, a a glass of half glass of Baxi's. Maybe drop oh, a Jameson. Jesus. No, you would die. Chug it. <laughs> oh, welcome to um, Hop Town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, oh, wait, wait, that, wait, that wait, one's wait, got wait, a wait. bite. You, you already did that? Yeah, I did. Okay, here, here's the deal. I'm going to drink. And then remember that one time in uh, the Night Attack recording when we made a sentence? 
Oh, like with just yes. every other word? Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So this here we go. This is the advertising slogan for this beer. All right, so let's take a drink and we'll we'll do it. You you go with the first word. My. Uh, heart <laughs> is a flame with <laughs> sour things. So I cry all of you. <laughs> That's two words. <laughs> all right. All y'all. <laughs> Need to drank <laughs> this she's drink. <laughs> no, just say how about drank this drank. 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 <laughs> My heart is uh, aflame right. with sour things, so y'all need to drink this drink. <laughs> That's. I want to know who the can, the. can we like have our own version of like um, uh, like a Norwegian Captain Morgan <laughs> saying that for some reason? And he's like at E3. I want a Norwegian Captain Morgan at E3 saying, "My heart is aflame with sour things, so y'all need to Brian. drink this drink." I'm a Norwegian Captain Morgan. I just want to let you know that I like to drink this drink. You know, I was looking for something yeah, to put yeah, on my business there, card. There. I'm going to put that on there. Yeah. Drink this drink. Brian, oh, one time I was drinking this drink and your mom said, stop it. And I said, no. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> I, want, I want to admit like a, yeah, yeah, there, day. Un shield, yeah, force to icky. I drank this drink. Ahoy, ahoy, Justin, is me. Nor Norwegian, Norwegian Captain Morgan. Norwegian Captain Morgan. I say, yeah, I ask her die. Huh? Uh, all right, uh, Yogi Dog is like, hey, listen, enough of this comedy. Let's talk about what's in this. What is in this particular uh, beer? Okay. There's, there's some, okay, now it's got to be the hops that are the nasty bite that I'm getting. Oh, and when yeah. I say nasty, I don't mean like it tastes bad. I mean like it just sneaks up like it's a rattlesnake sharp. and be all like, cha-cha! Yeah. Mighty fang. It just kind exactly. of it just kind of sneaks up like a homeless person and starts tickling you like right <laughs> below your belt line in a really uncomfortable place. No hobo. Okay, so no hobo. <laughs> here's where this one goes. I'm going to get into a little bit of things here. It is English and German grains using a Belgian yeast and American style and Japanese and New Zealand hops. So it's an entire damn world of everything. Holy smoke! Oh, so this yeah. is a world traveler. This is a world traveler. Mm. I feel like much uh, like this a Norwegian the Captain Morgan. Magellan. And this this one's and a little bit hey, lower. Keep in mind, keep in mind <laughs> that Magellan uh, was not trying to travel around the world. He was just trying to get around, like he was he trying was just to trying do to get some to route. Sam's Club. And yeah, but then, go, <laughs> then all like, of a sudden he went around the world. He's like, "What? This Apple Maps? You fooled me for the last time." <laughs> So this one's a little it easier, just 9%. It does kind of make it funny that Magellan is a GPS company, right? The fact yeah. that Magellan oh, yeah, was yeah. lost the whole time he went around the world. Uh, so by the way, this is 9%, Prime. Uh, well, thank goodness, because I needed to dial things back from that 10%. <laughs> so finally, we got a sensible we're, we're percentage on this one. We're bringing you back down the world here. Uh, oh, my God. So this one originally, unless you don't want me to tell you a name right now, uh, no, 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 no. Give nope. us the name, and then we'll we'll say whether or not we like well, it or not. Then we'll tell you while you're wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just tell you the name and not the reasoning then. This one was called Sleight of Hand. Okay. Mm. S-O-H. S-O-H. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well, I mean, magic's obviously terrible. It is. So uh, <laughs> we're not going to use that. Nobody likes magic or magicians or editors and chiefs of magic blogs. Yeah. So I think <laughs> if what you want to do is weird. get everyone mad at you. And, uh, and and get the whole world to hate you, then um, here's what you got to do. Take this beer and market it anywhere but the internet. Make sure you market it in small clubs with only four old men who are bitter and angry. Exactly. And I think they'll love it. And then every time that you let people uh, drink it, you'll know who the other magicians in the audience are when they just stare at you. 
<laughs> and it's like, if you ever pour a beer for anyone, like everyone else in the room is like clapping because they're all happy. But when you see these people, you're all like, oh, well, those are those are the, the magicians. By the way, here, slide, uh, slide of here's, actually, here's, here's a real impression of, of uh, every magician. Here we go to the Magic Castle. You're going to see some world-class <laughs> magic, great performers. You will know that the other magicians are in the audience when everybody else is like, oh, my God, that was great. And the, uh, the people in the audience that look like, this is them happy. They've seen the best show they've ever seen in that room. Well, as, as, as you know, Justin, for years, uh, the Magic Castle has boasted that they have the, the world's finest assholes <laughs> sit in the audience they're and don't great, clap though. for you. Listen, they are great as far they're, as they're assholes the best go. best of the best. Oh, <laughs> pinnacle. Cream of the crop. A number one. Top of the Top list. of the plow. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Dude, all right. So, so sleight of hand, I think, is great because it does feel like a magic trick. You think it's one thing up top, and then all of a sudden it sneaks back, and it does that old magic trick where it's like you're looking at a coin, and then somebody punches you in the back of the head. Uh, Brian, and, and I've then... got the perfect name for this beer, and you want to know what? I'm, I'm, I'm pre-approving it. Uh, you don't even get a say, okay? That's fine. I give, you my, yes I give you my proxy. Me. Diverted uh, that, that was me saying. And we're done. <laughs> Die Vernon's ashes. What a beautiful Die Vernon, who is one of the most legendary magicians who ever lived. The man who fooled Harry Houdini, his ashes, rest his soul, reside in the Magic Castle. Uh, then hey, Brian, I, I agree. Brian, this Brian, show some respect. This is Die Vernon's <laughs> ashes here. <laughs> Ah, let me let me drink him down then. Let me, let me get respect. some of that diverted in me. Mm. Oh my God, that sounds fair. Get uh, uh, wow, I can't even talk. Screw your beers, man. You're welcome. DVA, baby. Now. DVA. I want to, you, uh, <laughs> want them to bring out the stupid in you, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, all, right, all right. So so is this designed? <clears throat> For me, it yes. seems like I'm losing that hoppy bite on the sides, and it's just going down smooth. Yep, that's mm -hmm. actually exactly what it's supposed to do. I I love things with hops. Katie likes stuff that's smooth, so we figured, okay, let's get that punch in there and then have it kind of go... Mm -hmm. Just kind of like... Mm -hmm. what, that's what, awesome. What, what was that? You want to know what, Brian? That is smooth, and it was also very easy to drink. Kind of like building a Squarespace website. Oh, my God. The problem with most of these other ways... like I, You know I tried to make a website back in 1997? I downloaded a, a notepad... <laughs> from Windows 95, and I went to a website that told me I had to do uh, like like carrot uh, HTML slash title slash meta something. And I got very confused. I gave up, and I decided that nothing good will ever come of the internet because nobody knows how to program, and there's no way that in the future somebody will make it fast, easy, and reliable to create a beautiful-looking blog portfolio or any kind of website. That's why I never go online, and I sleep in a closet every night. Well... Thankfully, Squarespace has come along to save you from your incessant weeping and baby wailing that caterwauls throughout the Austin Hills and annoys the residents. Because Squarespace is constantly improving their platform with new features, new designs, and even better support. Beautiful designs, easy to use, inexpensive, and mobile ready. True story. I was visiting with my friends in Boston at a website design firm called Upstatement. They've redesigned, they're redesigning NPR's website, the Boston Globe web design they did. These guys are, for my money, the foremost authority on what looks good on the web. I was talking to Jared Novak, one of the founders, and he says, in 2013, if somebody just wanted to come to me to build a website, I'd say, for us, it doesn't make sense you should go to squarespace.com. Completely unsolicited. Take their advice, take our advice, head on over there right now. In fact, if you're already a Squarespace user, go to uh, tweet your website with hashtag twit Squarespace. Squarespace is gonna take a look and we're gonna feature it in future episodes of NSFW. So go ahead and tweet your website that you've built on Squarespace at twit Squarespace. That's the hashtag you're gonna use. Here's the deal. The all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own websites or online portfolios gives you a free trial. Yes, 
That's what Squarespace does for you. Also, you can get 20% off after you fall in love with this platform and you want to marry it and move off into the hills and start kissing its neck when it falls asleep at night. <laughs> Go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW9 and wife this web platform, Internet. It's for you to live and love forever. Squarespace.com, use offer code NSFW9 and you will get the best web hosting and design this side of the Pecos. I don't know whether they're available on both sides of the Pecos for the record. <laughs> Did you say the pay the oh the Pecos? I thought you meant the Pecos. Like there was people who paid a free for things coast and, and a Pecos. Exactly, That's the problem right? is that the New York Times had a real dip in web traffic when they erected a Pecos. Well, that's the problem. And the, the worst part is the constant fighting between the free coast and the pay coast. The free coast is like, we're the better of the two coasts. And pay coast is like, no, no I don't think so. We're going to shoot you with web bullets. <laughs> but that's that's what's great about Squarespace. Squarespace. They're like a quick snack. You just go quick snack and then you're totally done and you're good and you don't have to go across the pay coast. Hey, Brian, that ad read? Hmm. Yep. Quick snack. Yep. Uh... We have uh, a couple more beers, and then we got to bring on uh, Tay Allen. What else we got? <laughs> I like the fact that we're already sloppy, and you're thinking, and now we got to do a couple more beers, and then we bring on our special guest. Well, we only have one last one, which is the actual one that yes. went through the beer camp, one that you can actually go out and purchase now. All right, now, before we do this, Michael, talk us through, because when you first asked us to get behind your awesome video, which, by the way, a plus job on pandering <laughs> to the NSFW audience. You did very well on that. Uh, we were thrilled to hear that you made it to beer camp. But before we drink this, and the fact that this is commercially available right now, we would love to hear, like, what is the beer camp experience and what did you get out of it that you didn't already have? All right. So, beer camp experience, kind of like big old Charlie Chocolate Factory type thing. Charlie uh, Chocolate Factory? Yeah. I mean, it's, well, or however that goes. I don't know. Yeah. I've had a couple beers. <laughs> Willy Wonka. Uh, Willy Wonka. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was Willy Wonka. No, 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 I not sorry. anymore. That's no, I like, I like to think that this Chocolate. is like a, a, a real uh, under-the-radar gangster rapper. Yeah. Charlie Chocolate, Chocolate Factory. Factory. <laughs> so, well, like, Charlie Chocolate, he comes in, and it, but unfortunately, like, he does his hip-hop album, but he's selling, like, low-grade uh, footwear. And, he, and so he goes back to <laughs> his, he's like, I'm Charlie Chocolate. Y'all are privileged to work in my factory. Now make me them shoes. I almost cursed. <laughs> Come with me, and you'll be in a world of Charlie Chocolate footwear. <laughs> Amazing. So, anyway, sorry, so anyways, Charlie Chocolate walks into a bar. bar. Uh, so generally, so what it was is that myself and ten other folks who had done really well in this contest were brought to the brewery, uh, behind-the-scenes tours, got to see things that no one else could see, uh, explained all their processes for water conditioning that they don't let anyone else know about, yeah. the ways that they handle hops, handle grains. Did the other contestants start killing themselves one they by one? They tried to. One fell into <laughs> the mash tun, one into the grinder. <laughs> one, you know, saw the, uh, just started gorging himself on beer and, you know, they just kind of rolled him away. Yeah. It was, it was pretty into good. Yeah, into a hops cone. Yeah, into a hops cone. They, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what we use for our beer. Uh, and then we meet with one of their brewmasters, one of their huge high up guys, and just do a round table, duel to the death, what beer are we going to make? Gotcha. Uh, figure it out, punch it out, and then go there and work actually at the brewery, a uh, 300 gallon system, and brew up this beer that we came up with. So now this was, so, so you guys all debated, yours was the one that they were going to make? Well, it was kind of one of those things. Yeah. You know, it's one of those, Guys, guys, we're going to make what beer we want to make. This is the beer we want to make. Gotcha. Yeah, so, no, we we decided with me being just a good figurehead for things. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So You being it, taller and more intimidating yes. than everyone else. I just got louder right, and wait, angrier and yelled and I, I, I would imagine that this negotiation went like uh, like the Lucy Liu and Kill Bill 1 scene where eventually somebody said, why are we making his beer? And he just... <laughs> like cut off his head and said, anybody else? Huh? Tall beer rules. Tall right, beer so rules. We, we do have a question. <laughs> we do have a question from Cl uh, Curtis LaRock in the chat room. He wants to know, since you were actually there, does Charlie Chocolate work with R. Kelly? Or is there any relation between the two? <laughs> uh, there was a little bit of a divide on that one. I, mean, I think it was actually more R. Kelly worked for Charlie Chocolate. You know, it... it, it okay. He's a subdivision. I yeah, understand. Yeah. 
he, he took care of very specific things in there that we under NDA can't talk about. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we're here. Let's get to this beer because we got to bring on uh, we got to bring on the, the lovely Miss Allen. Sure, sounds good. So we so we can ask her the question. Everybody's uh, on the tip of their tongue. <laughs> uh, are you eventually going to work with Charlie Chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, it's time. I'm supposed to open this. Uh, re real quick, wh what can you tell us in advance uh, that we're supposed to feel when we experience this, or what what went into it? Uh, lots of <laughs> deceit and. Uh, <laughs> Lies. Yeah. Nice, dark, roasted bit of hops on the back and on the front and in the middle and before you get to it. Um, this one's lighter. It's only at 8.5%. So I'm toning it down for you. I'm trying to wane you off of there. Uh, it's supposed to be big and stick with you. Holy poop. You know what? This one seems <laughs> uh, like much more drinkable. I mean, forgive me for saying so, but, but this one seems an easier drink than the other two. Like this one, was it designed to be smooth? Yeah, uh, this one... It's because it's something that's going to be distributed out throughout the nation, whatnot. They're like, okay, we need to make sure something that everyone is going to want to drink. Because when I make the beers, I, I make it for me. I make it for the people I know are going to drink. I know what I like. Right. And damn straight, that's what I'm going to make. And our beers tend to be more thick and aggressive thick, than aggressive most commercial and whatnot. beers that you'll So this find. one, yeah, this is a little bit more smooth. Uh, this goes great with, like, barbecue and whatnot. It's so great, like, with a burger. Yeah. And uh, just kind of, you know, it's only a just, pint, pint and a half there. It's only eight, so, you know, no I problem chugging through it. Jesus. way bigger than be his so head drunk. on the camera. It's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so real quick, I should point out that the uh, that the label here, and I'm going to hold on to this since you were kind enough to autograph it for me. But, uh, <laughs> it, it, and by the way, is this your tagline where it says stand tall, which is awesome because it like mocks the fact that I'm short? <laughs> Yeah, just just for you, man. Just for you. <laughs> All right, Katie. Katie can every time you sign stuff say "screw tall people" sure. because like it can mean something different to them versus you. Uh, the uh, uh, is it sold as beer camp or is there is there a, a, a it sub is, name for it? It is sold as beer camp, and they just call it the beer camp, the Black Belgian IPA, because they released two others this year. I mean, there were about fifty that were done last year. These beer camps, and only three of them. Got so uh, got yeah got to do the national. They had like little local distributions to people who were actually in the camp, but then they all the staff got together and they tasted them. And went what's great and this one was one of the three that they said we Wait, need so, to so get you the like, higher nation. Yeah, so you like won. Yeah, you defeated everyone. I won after your winning. After winning, your beer, your, your beer food. You won twice. Oh yeah. A winner times a winner equals tall beer, dude. That's amazing. <laughs> So how far, uh, this is only in California, or where, where no, else can people get it again? At Dragon Con, it was yes. at a bar. I mean, I went down and had a pint when I was down at D.C. there. That are, is Are they going to keep on and, and making it? And by the way, uh, so, so Sierra Nevada, you can go to their website and search locally. Yeah, you do a Sierra Nevada beer locator, and you can do a search for the beer. It's the Belgian Black IPA. Uh, you can put your zip code in and like a mile radius and, yeah and it'll find you the it'll closest say it's bar. at these places to uh, buy it and it'll be like if it's a bar then it's on tap if it's at a liquor store then it's in the bottles i'll tell you Boom. what it's amazing go support uh a man that we uh we launched to beer camp here on nsfw show it is delish <laughs> that's what i would say about this by the leave that bottle oh we'll do all right <laughs> we'll leave all this. of this i don't we I just need more I to mean, launch this, her in and get her next yes, year and again I mean, tinyurl.com slash Katie Beer. That is K-A-T-I-E-B-E-E-R, all lowercase. Let's go. Let's see that number jump tonight. And uh, uh, I'll tell you what, can, can we take a little? Uh, can we take a little peek at uh, some of her, uh, some of her video? Because I liked her whole thing that she did. She did this whole the beer <laughs> hunter thing. Where did the idea for this come from? Um, I'm little i'm female i wanted to do something that would really stand out that you wouldn't necessarily expect yeah and um up until my little brother was old enough i was my father's favorite son she learned hey. now, she learned how to field dress a deer when she was five years old using a pickup truck two golf balls and a rope and a Good tree God. the so, tree is important if you uh, enter the url right oh there we go it, well, it says it says 14 on there. It, it, are you number 14? Like, are these real-time stats? Are um, you yeah, only four slots away ranking. from getting in? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, then this is this is what needs to happen. I go for the true game. I go big. I'm looking for wild beer. The trick is blending in. I like to use Cascade. <laughs> All right, let's go. You need some too. Oh, look here. See, we've got some tracks. And, uh, <laughs> I think we're close. Ah, see here? More tracks. They come through here often. 
Make a little hops for a bait. <laughs> it should work. I, I, I especially like the fact that the hops appear to be the scat of wild beer and the bait for wild beer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Beer calls help to get them out in the open. <laughs> All right, so here we go. She is at 464 votes right now. She's only four slots out of uh, the, the cut that will send her to beer camp. This should be no problem here for the chat realm audience. Let's go ahead and uh, make more stuff like this. Because, uh, listen, for, for the very low down payment of voting on an internet <laughs> survey last year, right now at your local Costco or BevMo, you can buy this delicious beer. We got national distribution for something that debuted here on NSFW. There's no reason why that can't happen. Again, we can't keep this party moving. Small beer, tall beer. Thank you guys Thank so you. much. And one last thing. Yeah. If she makes it, yeah. I'm bringing beer to Dragon Con next time. First come, first serve. Anyone to the NSFW show live? We'll pour. We'll pour. There so we go. Make it happen. Dude, you guys were fantastic last time. Thank you again. The No Hobo Brew was amazing. Uh, all right, look, we got to pay one more bill, Justin, and then bring on our next guest, right? Uh, Brian, I, I don't even consider it paying bills because I just love talking about Pro XPN. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Look, I used to, I used to run around full on naked in the middle of the shopping mall. I would go about and I would do my cons, uh, 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 commerce. I would take care of all these things, not wearing a stitch of clothing. Cause I heard that like nobody watches you when you walk around at the mall. You know what I found out, Justin? Yeah. That's not true. Turns out everybody's watching you. There's security cameras. It's apparently like, uh, you know, legal issues when you show up naked at certain places. I just wish there was some way to shroud me in a protective layer to where nobody could see, like, you know, what I'm really up to. Yeah, but I'm really glad that you brought that up because that is a great metaphor for surfing around on the internet. You are showing your stem and berries to everybody on the internet unless you are disguising the traffic that you send out there with a service like Pro XPN. And they are the first among equals. Here's the deal, okay? It's a VPN that works with any internet connection, creates a secure encrypted tunnel through which all of your online data passes back and forth. 512-bit encryption tunnel, this thing is secure, like a garden hose made of titanium. It is an amazing immaculate service that gives you so much. Not only does it protect you from the six strikes rule, but it also can put your region, according to prying eyes, in different places. And I'll tell See, you what. See, that's why that's their motto. Their motto is, prevent prying eyes from watching you. That, that's why you got to go with Pro XPN. I'm pretty sure this is a screenshot from their actual website, but they don't want prying eyes watching you. Nope. So you go, you watching your every move. No. 512 bit encryption will cover you. It, it blows me away how much we look like hollow notes. <laughs> and really, there's no time that I see that photo that I'm not like, wow, we look a lot like Hall Notes. <laughs> somebody give me, somebody give me that that photo again. We have it. No, there's right somebody. On. Somebody made an amazing uh, Photoshop of it already. It looks. We look a lot like Hall Notes. Back to Pro <laughs> XPN. There's a new Pro <laughs> XPN app for Android in the Google Play Store that supports Open VPN. They got world class customer support. Don't trust us. Trust Steve Gibson. Security now. Dude gave it a rave review. So check it out for yourself. Go to proxpn.com and uh, use the premium account, okay? That normally costs $9.95 a month or $74.95 for the entire year. Like that. That's the saving snap, homeboy. That just got you 20% off the lifetime of your account. That's less than 5 bucks a month for the yearly plan. If you're not satisfied, cancel within 7 days. That's the full refund, one-handed clap. That's what you get. You get all your money back if you get a refund within seven days. Go to proxpn.com slash twit, sign up with the code NSFW, and we would like to thank ProXPN for supporting this episode of Vanessa Divium. Dude. Uh, by the way, I'd like to point out that Katie, small beer, is already up to 13 in the rankings. I'm going to go ahead and click refresh right now. Boom, live 13. Let's keep it going. Up you to 550 awesome. votes. Thank you. Let's push her over the edge, man. Keep it going. Uh, so, Brian, uh, Jammer B, do we have our, our next guest on? Uh, no. Okay. So, this beer is the same beer you were drinking. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> and you'll I'm find that I as miss. it warms up, it gets warmer. I uh, <laughs> 
I, if that's too technical, let me know. On this guy, this guy is the is the beer taming whisperer, crocodile beer hunting guy. <laughs> Uh, okay, Here well, we go, uh, uh, Tay, if you are listening, you're going to need to uh, to share your contacts with a person called uh, Twit Live, and then a number. Uh, yeah, yes. Hey, Justin, Justin, yeah. you ever you ever notice how the two of us look like uh, look like Hall and Oates? <laughs> you ever notice that? <laughs> I mean, like it's uncanny, right? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Brian, can we make a uh, commitment maybe everybody that, that should we mess. will... I'll tell you what. Maybe maybe Tay is is kind of like a genie in the bottle, and you got to rub the bottle to get the genie out. Maybe in order to summon Tay Allen, we need to send her a mass text. So maybe everybody should be tweeting uh, whatever her Twitter is. I don't know. I think it's at Why Tay Allen. Why didn't you get assume. our mass text? You're in our Why? contacts. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be on the show now. <laughs> why, do, don't, why are you having a mass cow? You're supposed to be on our show now. Feel free. That's money in the bank. Uh, that is uh, at T A Y A L L Y N. Oh, at the Tay Allen. Sorry, T H E T A Y A L L Y N. Uh, and it says yeah, that that's the the Skype name I sent you in the email, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, sir. Sure. Man, I'll tell you what. Up until this point, Justin, we were like, it was magic. Everything was up 100% firing in all cylinders. And then we so, started drinking beer, and then I forgot which one was which. Oh, you know what? This is a, I'm going to do a taste test because I actually have forgotten which one is which. They're all unlabeled now. I'm going to see if I can remember. Wait, wait, I don't even know why I would do that. You can't even say, say if I'm right or not. <laughs> I'll be all Trust like, me, I, know. I think this is sleight of hand. And you'll be like, sure. I don't know. I'm not there. Yeah. Uh, but she's texting the, the NSFW Skype with her... Or the NSFW uh, Twitter with her Skype handle. Yeah, no, I'm seeing it in the chat right now, too. Here. In the meantime... Oh, man. No, don't That's juggle. Good. These are open. So awkward yet amazing. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Here, look, Justin, there's only one thing to do, and that's watch a cat play a theremin while we fix this. Well, here, well, why don't we this. go to her, uh, her, her, what's it called? Her, uh, video? her video. Yeah, it's a video. Uh, well, let's, let's at least do the, uh, up to the part where, uh, it might be relevant to this show. That's definitely a cat playing a theremin. Yeah, make sure you spell it right. Yeah, no, that's a cat playing the hell out of a theremin. All right, so here we go. This is called, uh... The Making of Tay. Uh, it is a, a documentary video that she uh, just put out here today. And I do believe there will be a very interesting element for everybody here on NSFW Show in reference to this, the songstress of the internet, Tay Allen. Much like porn and Nigerian bank transfer scams, Tay Allen is dominating the internet. Hey, it's Tay. Two months ago, my music video, Mass Text, went viral on YouTube with over 1 million views. And since then, my life has turned upside down. Who is that girl? Is she a troll? What's coming next? You would think it would have changed my life. But I'm living in a studio apartment in Los Angeles, a poor actress and singer, with my best friend Lauren, and we're just doing the best that we can. This is going to be very open and honest because that's what I wish I could have seen after I went viral. I'm going to show you everything. Accounts, statements, press releases, so you know how it works. Follow me in real time twice a week. And not only am I going to show you what it's like to be viral, but also take you on a journey for my new music video, Clean My Room. I'm going to take you along every step and show you the decisions I make and the creative process. It's going to be such a fun ride, and I can't wait to do it together. No, no, that's... Oh, wait, no, you got to keep it going. Yeah. It's the fact that you can have things other people may judge. Maybe you have a dirty room. Maybe you didn't get a text and you don't understand why. But that you can find that vibrancy. Like, and yourself and be completely okay and know that you're going to be successful and not only have the dreams to be but to actually achieve it there was no reason to release it on july 16th absolutely none yeah. besides the fact that it was a tuesday which i knew was the day that music came out like there was no reason to do it 
Um, <laughs> don't see. Yeah. And then we saw comments on the video saying the not safe for work show sent me here. Oh, and that was at 8 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we were literally I in the apartment in bed. trying on clothes in this bed because we kept the both of our clothes in the apartment. <laughs> And then you like randomly came on, like you yeah. came on the, we was like a live stream or whatever, and we were both like tired, and we we're like, what's going on, whatever. Yeah, like, and then you like came on, and we were both like, oh, oh my god, and then they kept playing all night long, and we were trying to sleep, and we would like wake up, and we were like, oh my god, Taylor. That's not no, a chance no. at all. I had none of that AdSense set up, I had no mm. idea what monetization was, absolutely no clue. First thing the next morning was the Guardian right, article, that down. was the first news publication, oh, yeah. and, and then, then CNN. Uh, so there we go. Proof positive that it was this show here, uh, the NSFW program, that brought Mass Text to a wider audience. Uh, and, and we will be very, very excited to talk to Tay about it. Well, I like, I like to think that we're not, we're not the ones who did much outside of stand at the top of the mountain and kick some snow that eventually became the avalanche that is ah! Mass Text. I, I'm not seeing you yet. Why? There we go. Oh, okay. there she is. Here we go. Hey, hey Alan. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the program, Tay. How you doing? Hi, it took you guys long enough. Why couldn't you figure out how to spell awkward wrong? Come on. Oh, that's I... all right. We, we, we made the mistake of spelling it the way it is in the dictionary. That's on us. I apologize. <laughs> okay. uh, so what is wrong with you? <laughs> All right, so Tay Allen, this is uh, this is the moment that none of us thought we would actually see. When we ran across your video, it never in a million years did it occur to us that we would have you right here with us. Uh, how, uh, take us through the journey of, of how we ended up at this moment. Oh, well, I mean, it was so exciting. I put up Math Text on a Tuesday and then literally went out to eat at the Cheesecake Factory with one of my girlfriends. And we came home to comments on the Math Text video saying sent here by NSFW show. And I was like, what the hell is that? Wow, you know, so, so we got that on day one? You yeah. did, yeah. You got it four hours after the release. And by the way, is your Jeez. laptop balancing on a basketball? Like it is, it is shaking uncontrollably. <laughs> oh, it's on my bed and I'm laughing. Oh, okay. Uh, so, sorry. Now, I would like to think that that's less a testament to to our acumen, but instead the the ferocious intensity of what we call the chat realm, the fine denizens of the folks who hang out in our chat rooms. Uh, they are the ones who bring us uh, the gems of the internet. And the moment we saw it, we knew that we had something that was going to be huge. Uh, uh -huh. Walk us through the reaction of, of where things went. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. Well, I saw it on your show and literally like, I died. I couldn't believe it. You guys are breaking it apart in such a loving, beautiful manner, realizing <laughs> all the incredible, creative, artistic work that I had put forth. And it warmed my heart like you cannot imagine to see a fellow artist be able to appreciate what I did. Um, after you, the Reddit cringe army graciously also <laughs> gave me their accolades. And that was lovely to make friends with all of those at Reddit. And from there, it just blossomed. <laughs> All right, so and then, and then now, just, just to give a, a, a progress track, you are at 4 million views on Mass Text. That, that is where we're at. I would love to be at 4 million views. Oh, you're not? Where are you at? Wait, how I'm far at, are you? I'm at 1 million 100,000, but maybe after this, come on, guys, let's get it to 4 million. <laughs> good night. That would be cool, right? I'll give you guys a shout out again. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me see here. Tay Allen, uh, Mass Text. Yeah, I guess uh, I'm looking at it right now. Now, of course, you have derivations where people do Mass Text backs backwards. Like, at, oh and God. once you start seeing the parodies and stuff come in, like, where was your expectation and where did you end up? Oh, it has so far exceeded my expectations. Uh, I went to USC, and while there, I created a very basic version of this song based off of an experience at a party. I was with friends and one guy did not get the after party invite that everyone else got. And it just sprung from my lips. I was like, why didn't I get your mass text? I'm in your contacts. And everyone stopped and looked at me like I was crazy in the room. But when everyone stops and looks at you like you're a psycho, 
you know you have something special. So uh, for some reason, I made a song out of that, and it went viral on the USC campus in 2011. That was my senior year. I got to perform at USC's Gay Prom and the California Science Center, and then once I kind of got my shit together post-grad and had some money in the bank, I was like, I'm going to do this, go big or go home. I am making a professional version of Mass Text. And now I'm a pop queen, so it worked out pretty well. All right, well, hey, listen, <laughs> listen, listen I, I, want, I want to let you. I want to let you know something here on this show. Unfortunately, it is called not safe for work, but we do have language uh, restrictions on the show. Whenever one of us accidentally curses, we play oh, a song oh. uh, that is called the belt song because we got to get the cursing belt. So uh, this is what oh. happens. Uh, we all we all have to dance when that happens. So oh, okay. <laughs> All right, punishment complete. All right, so so okay. Tay, one of the first things that we thought of that we we knew that this would be enough of a phenomenon that we would start seeing uh, instant parodies all over the place. But the one thing that we hoped for was since your name is Tay Allen, we thought that we should get legend of the internet, uh, Tay Zonday of Chocolate Rain fame to cover <laughs> your song. So it could be Tay doing Tay's uh, mass text. And we haven't made that happen I'd like to think it's just because we haven't made enough noise yet. So if anybody wants to reach out to Tazon Day, how would you feel about him covering this for you? Oh, let's do it. I'm all about a collab. Totes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and as it was pointed out, I mentioned this earlier today, and somebody said that it would be from Tay to Z. Because oh, Tay that's Allen, right. Tay oh God, Day, so Z. Cute. Right? Adorable. <laughs> I love when things rhyme. <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's, let's uh, uh, Justin, one we, we, of the aspects that, here's one of the things that really struck me about your entire experience of this. You seem to have one of the best attitudes of anyone I've ever seen on the internet of dealing with, as we know, YouTube comments can sometimes be a caustic environment. As a matter of fact, just today, Google it, announced it, that actually, they're going to be changing. It's actually a somber day here. Uh, we, are, we are in the last, the last days of disco of completely... Today's uh, uh, the on, death of the troll. The, yeah, the death yeah, I mean, of the troll. YouTube comments, Wait, as we what? know it, are, are going to be reforming. Yeah, they uh, it, as it is right now, you're totally anon anonymous, and whatever the latest comment is is what appears at the top. They're doing away with that. They're going to go to a system that, that integrates with the Google Plus comment system where you will have an established reputation. It will filter and prioritize uh, comments based on reputation, which I don't know. I, well, how does this make you feel, Tay? Because oh, uh, on the that takes away. I mean, has anyone heard of free speech? Why does Google get to determine whose comments are better than others? Oh no! Oh no! Haters of Tay, step forward. I am so not okay with this. You know <laughs> oh yeah, no. So, so you heard it here first. Our rights. This is this is Tay. This is Tay putting her money where her mouth is. This is the woman who's been the victim of so much trolling and hatred, saying, "Rise up, my trolls, and don't put up with this censorship." She will you not let haters voice. sit in the back of the bus. She says haters should sit in front. Sit in the back of the bus, and even though you call me a forty-five-year-old milf who raised my school kids, I appreciate you and the fact that you have taken the time out of your day to make a small girl from Texas like me mean something in this world. So can, I love Can, can we go ahead and just crown you right now queen of the trolls? Because you've certainly <laughs> earned it. You are, you, if, if you're going to put up with the troll hate and, and have such a good attitude, you deserve to be their, their, their queen, I feel like. All the bills for her to make mass text. It all came from my brain. So that's important. It is. It so is, Tay. And that's something, that's something to remember. But uh, as you mentioned, the haters out there that just fill the YouTube comments with bile nonsense after bile nonsense line, they are a large part of this community. So what we wanted to do with you here today is just take you through a tour of not only some of the comments that have come in on your uh, your particular uh, mass text video, but also some other prominent names all throughout 
YouTube. So what we did well, here... And I, I think that's that's what we wanted to establish, is that it's not a, a phenomenon unique to internet personalities. You know, there are people who most people would regard as phenomenally successful who have also dealt with the burden that you're dealing with right now. And by the way, in an extraordinarily classy way, did I see right that you that you recorded a video specifically for, for your haters or trolls? I did. I sang a very well-respected classical ballad by Brandy Carlisle where I changed the word you to YouTube. <laughs> That's great. Brilliant. Brilliant. See, and it's that kind of classy response that the internet needs more of. And we want you to know that you're in good company. So we have a few comments here. We're going to play a little game. You just guess which of these. Uh, uh, now, Justin, we, we argued back and forth. Yeah, about so we, no, no, no. We're, we're going to go multiple choice. This. We're going to go multiple choice. Okay. We're going to read a comment and then you're going to have to tell us who it is in reference to will name uh, uh, several names. Yours will be among them. And you tell <laughs> us whether or not it is you or one of these other names. Okay, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> uh, so so here we go. Brian, do you want to read the first one? Sure, sure. And, and you could give the options here. Uh, the first comment, and, and you got to decide. This might be you, it might be someone else. You know what? I'm actually going to bring back... The, uh, oh, I don't have the heartbeat sound. Sorry about that. So I can't do that for the drama. Oh, wait. But I do have the Hulk soundtrack. <laughs> um, here, let me kill that. Uh, all right. The comment is, who's she? I don't know. But I want to F her. Now, is that which of the following? Is it uh, Kate Upton, Tara Reid, Tay Allen, Hillary Clinton, or Adam Lambert? It's definitely not me. Um, I'm going to go with Kate Upton. No Kate. one says they ambiguously want to F me. They all just tell me that I should do porn. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we are looking for Kate Upton. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, Tara Reed. it was Tara Reed. In this clip from uh, Sharknado, Brian, can you play uh, the, the clip from, from Sharknado uh, there? Yeah, let me go ahead and copy this over. I didn't, uh, you know what? I'll make sure that I'm ready on the rest All of right, the story then, right then, now. This yeah, is the clip right just here. Go here we go. We got here. it right here. No, we what got it. Here What are you doing here? And what happened to him? Nothing. You're pretty safe in my life. He's not my fit anymore. And who is she? It's Nova. She works at the bar. Now, will you let us in? All right, there no, we go. Let's just, let's just move on here to the next one. You got it. Uh, okay, uh, you Brian, read you read it? the quote. I'll read the uh, I'll read the options. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh my God, you suck, lol. You're a disappointment to the female gender and musicians slash songwriters slash singers everywhere. Hell, you're a dis disappointment to auto tune. Is it Tay Allen, Miley Cyrus, <laughs> Lady Gaga, Kesha, or Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir? <laughs> Um, I'm going to go with A, Tay Allen. Tay Allen! Oh, yeah! Congratulations! That's a <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> All right, uh, the next one, uh, we've got the, the, the quote is, <clears throat> either she was dropped on her head as a baby or she's on some serious drugs. Yeah, is it? And Brian, have the uh, have the the uh, the video ready to go. Is it? Will do. Lady Gaga, Tay Allen, Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, or a scene from Tank Girl, the movie. <laughs> oh, I would love for it to be Selena Gomez, but I think it's Miley Cyrus. Looking for Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Let's see who it was, Brian. Uh, we'll find out in exactly eight seconds after Miley this Cyrus. <laughs> and it is you And there we go, Lady Gaga. Yeah, so that one was Lady Gaga. Yep. Uh, Brian, I have, I've been waiting all episode for you to read this next comment. <laughs> You're such an asshole, Justin. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and preload the clip now because I got a little time here, but I don't know if there's going to be an ad at the end. Uh, this comment reads, Tay, <clears throat> B word, 
Who would want you when you done turned into an F word, psycho, misspelled, dumbass, ho, that N word <laughs> don't want you to crazy hashtag this B word need God. Let's get down on our hands and knees and pray. Is it Barack Is Obama, Tay Allen, Miley Cyrus, <laughs> Kesha, or Madonna? <laughs> oh my God! Who is that? Please be one of uh, my haters. Hold on, I wait a love minute. Grammatically incorrect. Uh, Tay, uh, maybe what you needed is for Brian to read the comment again. Brian, uh, can you uh, read the comment again? <laughs> Justin, I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I B do. B word, who would time. want you when you done? All right, here we go from the top. <clears throat> B word, who would want you when you done? Turn it into F word. Psycho, misspelled, dumbass, ho, the N word. Don't want you crazy. Hashtag this B word need God. Let's get down on our hands and knees and pray. Again, Barack Obama, Tay Allen, Miley Cyrus, Kesha, or Madonna. Tay, who uh, is this hateful comment directed towards? Well, you know, it's the Not Safe for Work show, so I'm sure it's, uh, you know, politically correct and Barack Obama. <laughs> is it Barack, Barack Obama? Obama? Just... <laughs> <laughs> who was it, Brian? There we go, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. We clawed, we chained our hearts. This B needs God, Brian. <laughs> Let's get on our knees and pray, Justin. <laughs> get on your hands and knees and pray. Apparently, because that's you're gonna pray like a dog, doggy style pray. <laughs> <laughs> on your hands and knees. Now, I mentioned this beer is uh, seven point five percent. Let's go ahead. Let's get a little bit more. Okay. All, right. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, is I'm Padre still here? Next one. Is Padre SJ? Do we have a Catholic priest in the audience? Catholic priest is here. He told me that doggy style prayer is a real thing. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Padre SJ. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, this one's a short one, Tay. Only one word, and I'm hoping it will immediately eliminate some of the contenders here because I'm looking at the multiple choices. Uh, the one comment is Dick. Is it Tay Allen, <laughs> Bananarama, Boy George, Barack Obama, or Dick Van Dyke? Oh, God. <laughs> We're looking for Dick Van Dyke! I award you no points. And may God have mercy on your soul. Oh, what a bummer. Why don't we take it away? Let's... There he is. Oh, the President of the United States delivering an address on Syria. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like freaking Barack Obama gets as 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 vapid comments as 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 Lady Gaga. All right, all right, I'm ready. All What's right, next, uh, Brian. What is the next yes. comment? Uh, the next comment. I'm gonna preload before this one. Uh, <clears throat> That's sad, yo. S M H, which of course stands for shakes my head. Uh, Lady Gaga. Christina Aguilera, Boys to Men, Roots, the movie, or Tay Allen? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy right now that I'm in the same category as Roots, the movie. Uh, let's go with Miss Christina Aguilera. Is it X Tina Bryan? Let's take a look. Your name is Toby. I want to hear you say it. Your name is Toby. <laughs> I think we're going to cut that off right there. <laughs> <laughs> it was Roots the movie, Tay. Sorry. Oh, guys, right, this I've is been the final one. really bad at this. I don't know if I'm That's a pop okay. culture icon anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no Tay, no. All you're doing other great. Ones, all of those <laughs> other ones were worth one point each. This one okay. is worth 11 trillion points. So all you got to oh. do is get this one, and you win the game. I'll tell you what, though, Brian. Okay. That was the craziest holodeck episode of Next Generation ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wonder, like, who had that fantasy that programmed it in there? That's what confuses me. Counselor Troy? I'll bet you. <laughs> all right, here we Counselor go. Counselor Troy's a racist. One. Shots fired. <laughs> all right, all here right, we go. Tay? 
The comment is, <clears throat> I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bull S word. Is it Tay Allen? Uh, a scene from Schindler's List? Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> Michael Jordan? Or the first female Israeli prime minister, Golda Meir? <laughs> oh my God, this right, is so hard. Talk it out, talk it out. This is a big one. So okay. I, uh, oh my God. I again, you know, really wanted to be Schindler's List. Um, you know, the Israeli prime, uh, what was it, prime minister woman? Oops. You know, quite a possibility. <laughs> Maybe it's me just to like put the cherry on top at the end of the game. Um, at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to be self-serving, and I'm gonna say Tay Allen. Tay Allen. Now, Brian, read the comment again. And I want you to just think about it, Tay, and, and tell me if you're okay. sure or if you want to change. Okay. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bull S-word. So think about it. Take Does a second. Does that sound like a Tay hater? Schindler's List. Can, can, can we call Tay haters taters? Can we just call them that for short? Yes! Please call them taters because my dad used to call me Tate, like tater tot. <laughs> Say, oh, thank you, my taters. <laughs> yeah, and then you just go, hi, tater. Hi, tater. <laughs> Say, later, tater. Hi, tater. <laughs> uh, all, all right. right. Uh, uh, Brian, uh, I'm not Tay, even Tay, I'm I not even going to play a sound. I don't accused of... All right. You're saying just go? Because I'm telling you what, I just, I, I, I don't want to be accused of guiding her, but I kind of want to say it's definitely not Schindler's List or Michael Jordan or <laughs> Golda Meir or Tay Allen. But, like, you just go with that, whichever one you want. We want this to end well. What, what, what okay. are you thinking? I'm really competitive. I erased my last three answers and want to go with Jar Jar Binks. Is so let's it see. Jar knows? Jar Binks? Excuse me. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Can I get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. Well, congratulations to Tay Allen. You survived our challenge. Uh, with 11 trillion points, she emerges victorious. That was fantastic. Congratulations, oh my Tay. God. Does 11 trillion points equal 11 trillion views? Uh, we're uh, going to yeah, find out. Over this is an experiment. <laughs> We're going to ride together, Tay. Okay, perfect. Right. I love uh, horseback riding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, real quick, Justin, uh, I think we have one more ad. Can we get, can we can we take a break with our conversation with Tay? We'll we'll talk about one more sponsor and then wrap things up. Uh, absolutely, Brian. Uh, tell me how much you love things. Uh, I, I I love people, not so much things, but if there are things that could bring me closer to people, I love them. Well, what about the following thing? What is the following ting. thing? The thing that... Oh, ting! <laughs> ting oh, see, the I, thing, I you said Brian. How much I, I, th I thought you said how much I love things. Turns out you're asking how much I love ting. Let me tell you. Can I tell you no like no BS? I am currently trapped in a, in a contract with AT&T uh, because I kept buying the new iPhone year after year. I full on uh, did not buy the new iPhone 5S just so that I could wait one more year and be out of contract with AT&T so I could jump over to Ting. Do you know why, Justin? Well, I, I know what's great about Ting. Number one, there are no BS mobile service. They're an MVNO of Sprint, which means everywhere Sprint gets coverage, Ting gets coverage. The difference is that they are a world-class customer service organization. They have no contracts or ETFs, no bundling or ride-along services, no overages or penalties, no add-ons, no mysterious line items. This is a mobile phone service the way that you would expect one if some, like, friends, so your best friends, let's say Tay Allen wanted to offer you mobile phone service, this is what she'd do. She'd give you a ting. Well, and, and specifically because I don't feel like Tay Allen would try to trap me. You know, she'd try, she wouldn't try to enslave me for, like, two years straight in bondage where it's like, oh, you can have a cheaper phone, but now you belong to me, and you cannot leave unless you pay me money. That's something that Tay Allen would never do. No. And I'd like to think that it's something I don't have to worry about with ting. Is that true? Uh, listen, not only do they give you a powerful account control panel, but they have a no-hold customer service. Just go ahead and call 1-855-TING-FTW. Anytime between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Time, real person's picking up that phone, not a robot. 
Excellent answer. So, uh, you don't have to, uh, because I thought I thought that was like a law. The robot overlords of 1825 said that in the future, all toll-free numbers shall have to be answered by robots, and they shall not give actual practical answers. No humans shall guide people directly to the truth. That's in the robot constitution, Justin. It was, Brian, until Ting went back in time with a plasma air rifle and shot the prime minister of Robotica in the face, and therefore <laughs> the abolishing minister. that time stream and gave us the no hold no robot 855 ting ftw line tell you what you want to get in bed with ting and i certainly suggest it because is this service a sex machine <laughs> you go ahead and go over to ting okay uh you will uh, have the option to select a new phone number or port an existing one ting will break your rates out by minutes text messages and megabytes and bill you at the end of the month for what you've used all you got to do Go to nsfw.ting.com. Save money and better manage your mobile phone with Ting. Check out their savings calculator. See how much you or your company can save. And NSFW viewers will save 25 bucks on your first Ting device when you sign up. Visit nsfw.ting.com. Start saving today, Bri. Come on. Uh, well, let, look, let's go ahead and clarify one thing. Uh, Tay Allen, if I'm not mistaken, I would imagine that you almost wrote the song, Why Didn't I Get Your Mass Tax? Is it because I'm not on a contract? And uh, you, uh, you you were speaking specifically about Ting, I'd like to imagine, when you made that imaginary version of the song that I just made up. Yes, I was. And don't be too sure <laughs> about that bondage promise, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, listen, audio listeners, the reason why you got to download the video is the wink that Tay Allen just gave <laughs> might have shut down computers across the country. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, my God. I can't believe we're at the end of the show already. Uh, Tay, do us a favor real quick. I know that you've got, uh, first of all, we were very, very surprised and deeply honored that you credited us as being the ones that launched your video on its massive viral success. But I, I'm sure it looked like the, the the documentary was named Episode 1 Pilot. I assume you have more coming. Where Where is, are things headed for you right now? Absolutely. Well, right now I am filming my next music video, Yes, that is right, Internet World. It wasn't just one. I've recorded other songs. I will officially announce the title of that here. It is called Clean Ma Room, M-A, Ma Room. And I'm going to be doing a documentary leading up to the release showing all the inside scoop that no one shows you. When I went viral, I wished so badly that there was something that explained what monetization was. Do I need a publicist? What should I, what kind of camera should I be using? What is it like to make a music video? And I figured the gift that I could give everyone, because I was just a normal girl, is to literally show you everything. It's unfiltered, it's vulnerable. I'll show you the inside of full screen headquarters, contracts, you name it. So follow me along for the ride. It is going to be spicy fun. Now, 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 let me tell you, this is actually a very bold decision that I've definitely never even seen on the Internet, an institution that, that is renowned for its honesty and directness. I've never seen anybody cross the money line. And the fact that you're comfortable with, like, disclosing all of that stuff as it happens, was that anything that you wrestled with or was that something that you just wanted to share right from the get-go? You know, that's really interesting, Brian. It is something that I've wrestled with because it's so vulnerable. Like, I'm not having any facade of, you know, intense celebrity or publicists that make you seem like you're more than you are. I'm showing you the fact that I'm sharing a bed with a girl in a studio in Los Angeles to save money on rent. I'm going to show you the figures from full screen and exactly what I made on this many views. But um, at the base of everything, Tay, it's all about being relatable because I was never cool, I was never popular, I wasn't partying in the club like a Kesha song. I was not receiving a mass text. And I've had yeah, a dirty room are, my parents. Oh, well, as of, now I am. Well, no, as of right now, you are the, the queen of the trolls, as <laughs> is evidenced by this Photoshop, which is some kind of proof that I'm giving to you right now. <laughs> oh so congratulations God. on that. I feel like this is a coronation. Like, we are, we are attending the investment of the, the queen of the trolls here. In fact, I feel kind of like I need to, uh, oh, I'm looking for it right now. Ah, oh, dang it, I can't find it. I was going to look for the uh, the majest majestic song that plays that when somebody wins. I screwed everything up, Justin. Well, you I'll tell you what, uh, Tay, where else can people uh, find you? Where can uh, can people get to Tay out and get a little more Tay in their lives? Aw, uh, if you're a tater, then check me out on Twitter <laughs> at the Tay Allen. 
A L L Y N. And I'm also uh, on Instagram at the Tay Allen and on Facebook as Tay Allen Pop Girl. Well, uh, congratulations on all of your success. Justin, I'm sorry you had something else. I'll tell you, I feel like uh, everybody here in chat realm, they brought us mass text for, as, as you so artfully put it, uh, we as creative people so lovingly breaking down uh, the initial video. And, and you have now co-opted them in, into the Tater Army. So many <laughs> uh, amazing things here being said in, in the chat realm. Tay Allen, thank you so much for coming on the show. Please tell us this is not the last time. And, and when uh, you have something else coming up, you give us a holler, all right? Absolutely, I will. I love you guys. Thank you for changing my life. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank Ladies you, and gentlemen, why didn't you get your mask text? She's still really pissed off about it. Uh, Tay Allen, everybody. Go ahead and follow her at the Tay Allen right Yeah, why don't you send her a mask text? Don't you have your actual phone number out there on the internet? Can people send you mask texts? It is. <laughs> send her a mask text. Uh, all right, I guess that's it for this episode of NSFW. Holy cow, Justin. Outside of all the parts that didn't go perfectly, everything went perfectly. Uh, as is the huge. I'll tell you what, you're not going to get an episode of NSFW without a little bit of rat feces. Do me a favor. Uh, <laughs> tinyurl.com slash Katie Beer. K-A-T-I-E-B-E-E-R. You can vote every single day for her to get into the Sierra Nevada Beer Camp. Please make that happen. That is tinyurl.com slash Katie Beer. Dude, we love you guys. Do us a favor, all of you. Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Doggy style prayer, Brian. <laughs> Doggy style prayer. God it's, loves it's, it uh, when he sees the back of your head. Approved. <laughs> oh, NSA. Good fact. It's an ecclesiastical fact. I know. Come in your content. It's in Leviticus. Son of a biscuit eating. Dog, we totally forgot to give an update on on Yoshi. <coughs> oh, let's add that. Tell us now. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the deal with uh, Yoshi. Thank you for everybody uh. who sent in uh, pictures. Uh, all right, there is what we did, and then there is what uh, she has gone through over the last week. Let's start with the most important. Uh, Yoshi went through a tracheotomy. She was in the ER for several weeks prior to that. The tracheotomy was successful. She has been moved from the ER to another room in the hospital where she is recuperating. The people who were working on her uh, really regard it as something special that she is now outside of uh, intensive care because she was in a real bad spot. However, I can say from relayed to me through her family that she did see the Get Well Yoshi hashtag and all the pictures that we sent there which was i think well over 70 or 80 and she was crying while she was looking through them you guys have done an amazing thing in making somebody in a real bad spot feel really 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 good about herself in the meanwhile it was printed out by uh you know jackie hearn who is an amazing person and human being who, who keeps saying that she doesn't want to, to hog any credit or doesn't want you know doesn't want to be the one to, to look like she we know that she did it from the goodness of her heart and we know that she doesn't want credit but that's just who she is she's gen genuinely special and wonderful person and she actually put together this video of a collection of uh, uh, to show off the book as it was sent to yoshi uh here's the yoshi get well video put together by jackie Hearn. thank you again jackie i think we got music too
So, so thank you so very much to, to Jackie Hearn. Uh, you, uh, there were over 70 images added, as it says on there. They're all at tinyurl.com slash, let me back that up. It says uh, M Q. oh, geez. Uh, d is there an annotation here, officer? Uh, let's see. The exact quote here says... Get well, Yoshi. We need you. Love uh, Diamond Club. There were over 70 images added. See them all. Tinyurl.com slash M-Q-Y-R-L-M-Y. Thank you, Jackie Hearn. Thank you to the over 70 people that put their well wishes and honest, good vibes out there for Yoshi. Uh, please, please get well soon. Yeah. Yosh, come on. Let's stop fooling around here. Get better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, quick, pull it around, Yoshi. Would you, would you just get better? Yeah. Like, drama queen. We love you. I mean, like, listen, it, it's really, it's something that, that matters a lot. That, uh, you know, we have uh, a community here online that is very special to us, and, and we care about the people in it. So keep yeah. rocking and rolling with that. that is and we'll totally keep bringing true. you nonsense.